is that guy that puts you on notice the moment you go to the octagon with him. I mean, he's got scarf hold, headlocks, uh, Ezekiel chokes out the wazoo, Alexi Olenek, back-to-back -back main events against Mark Hunt and Alistair Overeem, still trying to chase down his first UFC title shot. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion. And now he is his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A wrestler holding a professional record of 59 wins, 14 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexei the Boa Constrictor Alignan. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? Ready? All right, here we go with round one. And sometimes when you have a closely contested matchup on paper, grapple versus grapple, we see a striking affair. But all indications are these guys are going to try to clinch it. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, wow. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Olenek. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Solid strike on the ground. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guards. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, big, big hammer fist lands. It's over. It's about to be over, John. If he doesn't move right now, his night is going to be over. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Trying for a submission here. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective. And he's out. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, 
right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Nice hammer fist. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock, and if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. A triangle, a triangle. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat all the way. Oh, he might have got it with a choke. Wow. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 15 seconds. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Round two underway. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice entry into the finish, the record. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. This guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, Brock Lesnar! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight.